So, ladies, gentlemen, what's your favorite game soundtrack? Right, I'll start since I have, I, I've had my idea in my head a while. And I know it's going to sound very stereotypical of me. I'm going to say Kingdom Hearts. Not a bad choice. Not For the sake of, not that it Kingdom Hearts adds any kind of feeling, I don't think, in some of the worlds. Like, it doesn't add, like, a feeling to the music. It enhances the feeling that the world and the situation already gives. Great example is the music from Hollow Bastion. Yes. It is exactly the same from Kingdom Hearts 1 to Kingdom Hearts 2. But just the way they set up the atmosphere of the world itself, in the first one it makes it, a, it sounds very dark and just makes the world feel very dark. Whereas it feels very upbeat and like light. It's very happy. vibrant in 2. In 2. Feels. But it's exactly the same. So it's like, I think that that they could probably put it somewhere else and make the world different in another way. And it'll make, it'll enhance whatever feeling they're trying to give. I think that... Yeah. that that's a really good quality of, and it's with a lot of, a lot of the, uh, the, the music, you know, uh, the Coliseum is some of the best music ever. I and as, as you're talking about it, like, I, I'm hearing the, <laughs> the Hollow Bastion Radiant Garden music yeah. in my head. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm just not far enough in two, but I'm still getting that dark feeling from it, because shit is still hitting the fan. Shit's still hitting the fan, but, like, I'm just saying, like, the atmosphere in general is kind after, of a little bit slightly different, but after it's the still shit very hits the dark. Fan, after the shit's done hitting the fan in two in Hollow Bastion, it'll, it'll change. It'll lighten up. Like, mm -hmm. like, like, once things go down, it, it, it gets better. And so. Um... Well, whoever else is next? Sam? Oh, right, uh, Madden 2005. Just kidding. <laughs> Although I had Backcountry... By Avenged Sevenfold and Chevelle. It was good. It's worthy of an honorable mention. <laughs> <laughs> it's an honorable mention. Um, I'd say The Last of Us. Yeah. Just because it's a good soundtrack. <laughs> I mean, that's all the... It's like original composed music for the game, everything. It's lonely sounding. It fits the mood of the game. It fits the tone. It sets the tone sometimes. And it's just good. I mean, it's good music. It, it's not, you know, something that doesn't correspond with the game at all. Like I said, it sets the tone for the game at a lot of certain points. You know, that kind of just wandering around music or getting into battle music or, you know... Battle themes. Into battle. Yes. Yeah. Or just being lonely. Yeah. That's a lot of what the game seems to be about. What are you doing? I don't know. Luke. Um... Alright, uh, I'm kind of torn between two, but I'm going to go with something that's always been near and dear to my heart, which is the Legend of Zelda series, and, and just the whole series in general. That, that, that series has always had very great soundtracks, and like, the, like the, the theme song for Twilight Princess, which is the most recent one I've played, is fantastic. Yeah. And I would, I, they, were, they were doing the orchestra thing in Philly. Not that long ago, I really wanted to go see it, but you know, just the even like the eight bit music from way way back on on the NES, that is iconic to me. That that title screen music is just always gonna stick with me. I'm gonna have to go with the rival here. <laughs> the Final Fantasy series amazed me, like, but fantastic soundtracks it's, nonetheless. Like, I would pay a great deal of money to go see that performed live. Yes. Like, I don't know what it is about it, it's just, it feels right. It feels right for their games, and it's, I don't want to say it's very Japanese. <laughs> but it is. But it is. <laughs> but it's, it just, it strikes you as, like, something different, something foreign to you, but something good, and something that you can hold on to, and be like, this is great music, and uh, it's one of the few soundtracks that I've actually bought. You know, I was going to say Halo. That's very stereotypical. We'll get into Halo, probably, eventually. This is a great soundtrack. I pretty much think we all agree on that. Yeah. I'm going to say Uncharted. Uncharted. I'm the Uncharted so. uh, every time you go to the title screen when, that game, when those games start up, it, you feel... There's this, like, Indiana Jones fucking shit going on. It's just, you know you're going on an epic adventure. And it, it just, it's, it's so fitting. And it's so wonderful. And it just brings a smile to my face every time I, I listen to it. And even the other parts, like, in the game always fit 
what the hell's going on. You know, I it you know I think the music in three is just fantastic. It's just Uncharted to me is a very underrated, uh, you know, video game soundtrack. I know because a lot of people talk about games like Tomb Raider. Yeah, but. I don't think Tomb Raider's soundtrack lives up to the hype that Uncharted does. No, no, it, it definitely does not. Uncharted just... I just love the music, I, the music I mean, of that game. What what other great. kind of like iconic soundtracks? I mean, there are so many really Metal just, Gear iconic. Solid. Metal, Metal Gear, Gear Solid, Solid was music. like... It is so up-tempo, and it, it's like... It gets your blood flowing. Like, even when you're sneaking around, like the music is like, oh shit, I'm gonna get caught, I'm gonna get caught, someone's gonna find me, shit, shit, shit. With with your talks, when you were talking about, Frank, how you talked about Final Fantasy earlier, uh, probably, even though, like I said, Kingdom Hearts, and again, it's the you know, same developer, but even though I said Kingdom Hearts is probably my favorite soundtrack, probably, the, I think the best song in a soundtrack ever is One Wing Angel, Final Fantasy Yes, yes. Trivium has been using that as their opening thing for their shows. I heard a metal <laughs> version of it, and it sounds amazing. No, no, they, yeah, they did it for Advent Children. It's the same thing. Yeah. It's just instead of being 8-bit, which they did in the original, they full orchestra, full metal band. Just boom! And, I'm like, and it's it's a mind-blowing thing. It's, yeah. it's amazing. But then also another, like, uh, soundtrack that I've always really liked was the... Some of the ones for some of the uh, the earlier Call of Duties are really good, especially like the World War Two ones in uh in COD Four. There's really good soundtracks. They set just the entire mood for that really well. And also, uh, somebody I just thought in my head because somebody brought up that it sounds it sounds kind of like the Pirates of the Caribbean theme, uh, Battlefield 1942. <laughs> that that opening theme is awesome again because it kind of sounds like Pirates of the Caribbean. It makes me feel like I want to go and like. You know, I, I I just want to get in a brawl with something, but I have guns, so I'm going to have to gun brawl. I know it's it might sound like cheating bringing Howard Shore into this, but <laughs> come on, Lord of the Rings, I don't care if it was in the movies first, but they yeah. have that to the games, too. Yeah. It, is, it fits Definitely perfectly. With that. It, yeah. It's, like, even in, like, Lego Lord of the Rings, they had the music in there. It was wonderful. It was so great. Like, uh, there, there are, like, great composers out there with writing video game music. Yeah. Jeremy Soule, the composer for the Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, who did the music for that movie, yeah. did the music for The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. That soundtrack, that four-disc soundtrack, is absolutely beautiful. Not only that, he also... Very close time frame. He was also doing Guild Wars Two. Yes. And Guild Wars Two came out. It was beautiful. Like I almost cried a little bit when I started playing. Any other soundtracks you can think of? Um, not really off the top of my head, but we can talk about what makes Halo. The Halo great. soundtrack. Everybody knows those opening like it's the, the, the chanting. <laughs> Everybody knows that chanting. It's. Yeah. I think it's. It's it's a good combination, which I mean, from knowing a little bit from taking like a music class, it's it's you know it has the right kind of sound and it fits the game perfectly. It's also simple. Yes. It's easy to remember. It gets stuck in your head. And and everybody knows, you know, when when some when shit's hitting a fan in Halo, that you know, da 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 da, yeah, da 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 da. So, everybody the, knows that. It's like, just, I, it's, I, it's, it's it's like Star Wars to me. It's as iconic as that. I I, I love that in like any kind of video game. Yeah. Or like you know, we just did this video, walking around outside Skyrim, just and all of a sudden you hear the uh, the main theme come on. You're like, all right, where's the dragon? Yeah, where is he? Or like <laughs> just that, just like the the ambient sounds of that soundtrack, just the ambient music, but yeah. the ambient nature noise. I set up from that four disc soundtrack a playlist to fall asleep to, just because it just. It's perfect. It's very relaxing. It's just awesome. Like anything that becomes like Star Wars, like you, that's instantly recognizable, like the Star Wars theme song. That is what makes an iconic soundtrack to me. I know it's not the most, like it isn't the best, but I will always remember Pokemon music. Yes. yes. Yeah. Like Some it's of the it's ones. iconic. Yeah. It you you recognize it as Pokemon. Yeah. It's. It's weird too, like, also, I love little things, like little, uh, things from a lot of video games, like, ah, oh, what video game was I playing recently that kind of had it? Uh, I liked, like, um, there's, like, a little music that plays 
like, a lot, like, during, uh, like, whenever you get into combat in, like, Assassin's Creed 3, and I'm like, that's, that's, that's really fun music to mess around with, but then also, like, oh, so speaking of Assassin's Creed 3, there's the, when you're on the ship, and I don't know, I just love, like, you know, you're in the very beginning of the game, you're sailing on the ship, yes. there's, like, all the deck hands, and they're, like, there's a chorus of people just, like, singing, I'm like, Yes. It was, I think it was Brotherhood, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, that had, uh, it was very creepy, like, when you were walking around the city, it would just be this, like, opera singer going on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think it was Brotherhood, and I just, two I and thought it fit. Two and Brotherhood. Had yeah, it. I thought it fit so well, it fit uh, that whole, you know, renaissance Actually, the, the creepy vibe on. just reminded me of, um, I don't know how many people here played Fable 2. Yeah, being called yeah. Fable Two. Yeah. The first time you go to the marshes yeah. and you hear the music box, mm -hmm. that creeped me the hell out. And I was—I forget how old I, I was. A, I was a teenager at the time. Yeah. And it just creeped me the hell out. I uh, and, and another thing—it's not really a soundtrack, but I always like you know in the Bioshock games yes. when you walk into certain places and you hear like these old like nineteen. 20s, 30s, 40s music oh, going another on. Oh, another Fallout. This is great. The Saint yeah, Fallout, like, Fallout series. Like, stuff like that. I just, I always, it was something like that stuff. I like how Fallout 3 starts out with, I forget how that one song goes, uh, I don't want to set the world on fire. Yeah. yeah. Actually, yeah. Uh, Bioshock Infinite. Yeah, that song, it, they actually sang. They, they used a lot of modern songs, but they put them in like a 1912, yeah. like, um, they also sang, they, they sang that one song. Like, Tears, they did the Tears for Fears every cover of Everybody Wants to Rule the World. Yeah. Also, you hear Creed's Clearwater Revival at one yes. point, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. It's like, I, is, that one, is that the baptism scene? When you no, that's, the, that, you, you encounter a, a rift yeah. after, uh, uh, yeah. a, after you, your, your first fight with the handyman. Okay, um, yeah. But, like, I love, like, I don't think, I don't think I've ever encountered, like, a bad video game soundtrack. That's true. It's just like, they all kind of work really well. I've had, I've, like, I, I can't think of any games that come to mind that has it, but just, sometimes they just have music that doesn't really fit what's happening. Dynasty Or doesn't Warriors. Fit, the, fit the mood. Yeah, like, Dynasty weird, Wars is all know, like, like 80s, like speed metal. Yeah, like stuff like that. Like, just like weird Japan. metal shit going on or something. It's just, sometimes it doesn't really work. fit at all. But uh, yeah, but like I, I just I think it's just a lot of games that just work like, and it's weird sometimes. Like I, you know, I've I just got it the other day and I played a little bit today. Splinter Cell Blacklisted. Like one part I was doing, one of uh, like a really, uh, I think uh, I think I started doing a co-op mission, but like I just went in just to see what it, you know. I yeah. put another controller there and I just went in to see what it was like. It was weird because like, it the music wasn't anything you'd expect. It was like almost kind of tribal. Anyway, I'm just like. Whoa, it's kind of cool. And it was in the jungle, but I was like, "Yeah, this." And I'm like, I just love things like that. Like I don't know. Like I, I just like I haven't encountered at least personally a soundtrack that I'm like, "This sucks." And a lot of the soundtracks that I think are you know just absolutely fantastic. They make you kind of sink into the game more. They make you more immersed. Yes. In everything. Like, that's what made... That's, that's a one good of the things we were just talking right about with Skyrim. The soundtrack and the music brought you into the world. Yeah, it's, exactly. I think a good soundtrack is one that can sometimes capture your attention, but then for the rest of the time, you, like, you might not even notice it's there. Mm. Yes. This is what a great soundtrack is. Like, it's there, but at the same time, you don't realize it's it. It's just, like, it's part of the game. It isn't, yeah. a, it isn't a separate... It isn't a separate entity. It is, like... Integral it, it, to the game. It, it's almost as if they put just as much time into the music as they did the actual game itself. You yeah. Know? They really took their time like, with it. With Arkham City, there really is no musical sound, musical score for that game. No. But it's like the, the noises of the city mm -hmm. became, like, it made Arkham City feel alive and organic and just. Yeah. Only one here, Grand Theft Auto stuff. I don't. Do you, I would you consider don't. Grand Theft Auto as a great soundtrack? No, no, I wouldn't because half the songs I don't half the songs I don't listen to, and then I don't know. I mean, I end up usually turning it off anyway. Some of the songs music. you'll get to a song and it might sound cool, but it isn't going to sound cool enough for you to go and look at it later. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's not really music that was composed for the game. 
It's yeah, just music it's just, that they bought and played. Yeah, it's, in they're the just game. trying to, you know, it, it fits like simulate. The, it fits like the same kind of thing as like exactly how it is. You know, you turn on the radio. Whatever you're doing, this song happens to be on. And what, what if it does nothing? It does nothing. If like, oh yeah, I'm gonna drive fast. You know, if it, you get that kind of reaction. But I mean, like, this that doesn't really add much to the gameplay. Any thoughts on that, Sam? Um. Other than Grand Theft Auto, three other ones that I want to talk about when you brought it up before. Um, probably going from fourth to second place since my first place I already said. Fourth is probably Red Dead Redemption. I like that soundtrack a lot. Second has to be Super Mario Bros. Oh, yes, because it gets stuck yeah. in your head. Yes. Yeah, and then second, American. maybe even tied for first, I would say it was Journey. Da, da, I haven't played da, 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 da. Oh, wait, no, so that that's That's Game of Thrones. Oh, no, that wasn't. That's not a joke. Almost like, it's, at first it sounded like Game of Thrones to me. I was like, what the hell? That's not a game. <laughs> oh, before, I'll stop before we get a copyright infringement. But yeah, like Journey like had a good soundtrack. I mean, I think that's one of the probably key things in the game. Not just the soundtrack, it was part of the game, I think. Mm. I think some of the games with the best soundtracks just in general are horror games. Because it really fits that. It, yeah, it like, definitely, like... It's very subtle, but, like, playing uh, Slender, the constant, like, boom! Like, there's just constant, like, bass. Especially if you have headphones on, which is kind of what's kind of recommended you play that game with, like, headphones on. It's boom! Boom! It's nerve-wracking. And then just, like, other sounds come in, and then, you know, just the other noises, you know, walking... You know, when you get close to static, it just, you know, I, horror games really do a good job with their soundtrack. I think a lot of horror game soundtracks are just kind of redundant. Not that they're bad, it's just... But they do the job, they, they, I guess. It's just, I mean, for horror games, I mean, they're good, yeah. I mean, they're good for what they are, but I always kind of felt that, you know, they made the game scarier, but as a soundtrack, like, on their own... Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. But but they do their job really yeah. well. Like, like the game and everything. Probably the, the one survival horror game that sticks out to me because of its soundtrack is Silent Hill. Oh yeah, Silent the original yeah. Silent Hill. Uh, it, like you're you're strong. like a, you're tight you're tighter than a fucking guitar string at, when you hear that music. Yes. Also, Left 4 Dead I thought had a really good like just kind of like eerie and then like you know sound cues kind yeah. of like a movie. It was really cool. I thought. Uh, anything else, necessarily? Anybody else have any other thoughts? Uh, we could just say, if you had to... If you had to pick one soundtrack to live with for the rest of your life, you just heard it all the time. Oh what would you pick? I, I can't. There's so many good ones. There's too many good oh, no. ones. Just because I'd want to feel epic all the time, I might say Skyrim. Just because I want to feel epic 24-7. Yeah. I feel like everything I do, I do is the most important thing ever done to mankind. I want my... I want my life to feel like a dream, so fucking Final Fantasy. Yeah, Final so Fantasy is a very. It makes you feel like you're in a dream world. It it brings you outside of reality. I I kind of have to go with the Legend of Zelda just because of that. It kind of gives that same feeling. There are times where you feel epic, and then there are times where it's very melancholy and just yeah. Same. The Last of Us would get depressing, so journey. <laughs> I'm gonna say Kingdom Hearts because there's a lot of variety in it, yeah. and I, that theme song of Travers Town could just put me to sleep so peacefully every night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. yeah. All right, copyright. guys. We don't, we don't <laughs> want to get sued here. Copyright. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, bye. bye. I have no idea. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. The Archmage needs to be informed immediately. He needs to see this for himself. I don't care.